facility. And as Henry Coburn tells us, this company is promising to create dozens of new jobs. I'm standing in front of the facility that is soon to be home to Setter Sticks. The paper products company promises to invest more than $11.7 million and bring 80 new jobs right here to Lawrence County. The company manufactures paper sticks for products like cotton swabs, candy, and more. The new facility was announced by the governor's office today. It will be the first time the company has expanded outside of its home state of New York. Fountain Inn Mayor G.P. McClear says the announcement makes clear the area's appeal to manufacturing and industry. We're the best place to live in America, first and foremost, but we, uh, we've got a thriving downtown. Uh, it's a small town charm. Uh, we've got a, a growing business scene. We're very close to not only agricultural industries, but also manufacturing and industrial. Uh, and just proximity to everything that South Carolina has to offer. The governor's office says the new operation will expand the company's manufacturing and shipping capabilities. However, the move is also good news for Fountain Inn and Lawrence County as a whole, creating 80 new jobs. Setter Sticks is the latest in a growing list of companies expanding their business into the upstate. There's a lot of industrial things going on and manufacturing going on in, or in and around uh, our community and this was just another one of those big wins for us uh, and for Lawrence County and the state. McClear says the new facility, the jobs and the economic impact are all made possible through hard work and good coordination at the local level. The Lawrence County Development Corporation plays a big part in recruiting these industrial partners. Lawrence County and their county council also helps make a strong bedrock for these for these groups. And then uh, us municipalities, we help plug in and, and make sure that there's high quality housing, recreation, uh, businesses and shops and restaurants, things for, things for the folks, things where these folks can live, work and play. I reached out to Setter Six for comments on the new facility, but I did not hear back. The facility is set to open in February of next year. In Fountain Inn, Henry Coburn, 7 News.